How you doing guys? Welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. So in this video, what I want to talk to you guys about is port security. What is port security? To me, it is a layer two control on your catalyst switches, on your Cisco switches. You can implement port security on your ports to allow a, only a certain amount of uh, MAC addresses. So pretty much you can go into the interface, configure you know uh, port security, and then when you have users or computers plugged into the port and if it exceeds that limit it will be violated and when the violation is occurred we'll get an alert it'll shut down the port and then that user will not be able to you know plug in more devices because it only knows that one mac address usually people would maybe configure up to five because one is pretty strict so because what if uh, you get your phone or if you get a new phone or you know your laptop or your PC or you know all these kind of things obviously one is pretty they want those admins want to be really uh, mean to you but I want to do one just for this simple demo and lab so you guys can see the whole configuration in action from soup to nuts you know from beginning to end so let's get started hopefully we enjoy this thank you hello guys welcome back so in this video what we're going to be talking about is port security and setting port security up on this Cisco 3650 okay so this is our little topology and we have one PC two PC a little hub connecting up to the layer 3 switch going out to this server this server is serving DHCP okay so the switch is there let's go ahead and just check basic connectivity let's go ahead and open up the command prompt okay I was just testing some stuff so let's see if we can ping the HTTP server we can perfect okay let's go ahead and PC2 same thing make sure we can ping the DHCP server perfect so now let's go ahead and go on our switch and let's first let's do this let's do show Mac address table okay so we can see three MAC addresses in the table. The two going over gigabit one slash zero slash one, which is PC one and two. And off of gigabit one slash zero slash two is a DHCP server on the right, right right here. Okay, so let's go back into here. Let me open up. Okay, perfect. All right, so first thing we can do is do show run. And we can see that port one slash zero slash one does not have any configuration for port security another way we can do it is just do show port security and there's nothing there okay so let's go ahead and start configuring that bad boy so bad guys can't get in right so we're going to do a few few things in this video but this is the first one so gigabit interface gig one slash zero slash one perfect so then first thing is if you didn't have that access uh, um, access port configured you would do switch port mode access okay and then switch port port security bada bing that's it for now right we're gonna we're gonna check this out so we just end show port security now whoops show port security so if we look on a little questionnaire here we're gonna use just one port for you know the security which is gig uh, one slash zero slash one by default, how many MAC addresses are permitted? By default, it's only one, okay? And another one we can use is addresses. So in the address table, we don't have any MAC addresses. Why do you think that? You know, if you think about that, why isn't there any in there, right? We can see show MAC address table. We can see that there's MAC addresses in there, okay? Why is it? Okay, so because the reason is that no traffic has been passed through since we re-enabled this, so since we enabled this, okay? So let's go up to PC1, okay? Let's go ahead and, and issue that same command. Let's ping the DHCP server. It's working, perfect, okay? And that is good. Because there's only one MAC address allowed, this bad boy is the lucky guy today, okay? Let's go back to the switch. We can hit this one app, uh, the up arrow, and then we can see 
1111111 is PC1. Okay? So that's perfect. Okay? So now verify that only the first host is allowed. Okay? Meaning, what does that mean? So the first host is allowed. Now what happens when the second host, this guy, passes traffic? Okay? Uh oh. No bueno. You see that? No pings are going through. Before I was able to ping it prior to enabling port security. You see that? And the link is red. Red means stop, right? Doesn't mean green for go. So we'll stop that output and we'll check the switch. Okay, pasa? What's going on here? All right, so we'll just go ahead and show port security. Security violation count. There is one. Oh no, that's no bueno. So we'll just do uh, addresses. We still see that one address in the, in the table. And what we'll do here is interface gig one slash zero slash one. And, uh oh, I sneeze. I guess not. Sorry. And so the security violation count is one. So what does this mean? When the violation has met, like uh, when we had the violation, the, the violation mode is to shut down the port, okay? So how can we verify if that port is shut down? So we can do show run. And we see here, the port is shut down. Another way we can do it is show interface status. We can see it here. Um, gig one slash zero slash one is in an error disabled uh, disabled state. Okay, and another one you can do show interface or show yeah interface oops interface gig one slash zero slash one. And we can see it's down. The protocol's down. Everything is down, and that port is not happy, right? So how can we make this port happy again? The way we can make it happy is if we go into configure its terminal interface gig one slash zero slash one and we do no shutdown okay and i like this so now let's go ahead and uh geez all right so we do do show inter show interface status love this i love this and i wanted this to happen i, I didn't fix it on purpose the first time so of course, a lot of people will go into the interface because they're they're taught to when you want to bring an interface up is to do no shutdown. But look, the state is still down. So what's going on? How que pasa? What happened? Why isn't my command working? The reason being, first you have to shut down the key, shut it down because, and then we can do no shutdown. And now check it out. You see that now the state is up. Now, if we do this command again, we can see this is working and we should see our link back up. You see that? Uh, it's Amber because it's spanning tree. Okay, so we'll give that 30 seconds by default. So let's see if we can ping. It's probably not up yet. No, it's not up. I'm impatient. Let's give it a second. And the reason why I'm being impatient is because it's almost 10 p.m. EST right now. And you know what that means? It's Ranger time! The New York Rangers are playing tonight, and I'm a big Ranger fan. So, okay, my patients um, work now. So, sorry, I was just getting excited. I was thinking about the Rangers and hopefully Lundquist, if you guys are a Ranger fan. He doesn't play because he's getting old and he's getting rubbish, but I still love him. All right, so we can now we can ping our DHCP server through the, the hub, through the switch, and all that good stuff. All right, so let's go back to our switch. And... And here, all right, so now let's go ahead and do show interface, show port security, okay, boom. So now there's no violations, perfect. Now let's go ahead and see if we can break this again. Uh-oh, it's broken. All right, I wanna be a little quicker this time, okay? Because now we can see it's broken, but, and I wanna show you how to fix it forever if you want to fix it forever, okay? So we'll do two, config T, Interface gig one slash zero slash one. Um, shutdown. No shutdown. Now it's up. Okay. 
so you remember when we initially set this up, we did switch port, port security, and then we hit enter, right? So when you hit enter, by default, that gives one allowed um, MAC address, right? So now if we see the, the options now, we can see maximum, right? So we can say maximum 10, okay? Do WR, okay, perfect. Now we have 10 allowed MAC addresses. It all depends on how many PCs you have in your network, but obviously this is just a demo slash lab type thing, right? So let's do show port security. Now we can see the, the allowed count is 10, all right? And then we can do um, show port security interface gig one slash zero slash one. Okay, so we can see everything is good. The secure up, the everything is good to go. So now let's go ahead and go on PC1, ping that, it's replying, PC2, boom, it's applying, we're in action. Okay, now let's go here. We just learned two, two new MAC addresses, two new MAC addresses and nothing broke. So now if we do show run include uh, one slash zero slash one. Uh, let's do section. Can I do section? No. What am I doing here? Sometimes a simulator is a little different than uh, an actual emulator, the real iOS. So do, let's do begin. One slash zero slash. Uh, one slash zero slash. Oh, jeez. So this is the this is what we were looking at. This is what I was trying to show you guys. So this is the interface. You know what? This is probably let me just do show run. It's probably easier to see it like this. So now uh, gobbly gook. All right. So the interface um, configuration for gigabit one slash zero slash one switch port mode access. So it's an access port. Switch port switch port uh, non negotiate. Okay, that's fine. Switch port um, switch port port security, which is enabling that. And then we uh, did the switch port mode, uh, switch port port security maximum 10. So now we can uh, maximum, you know, we can have 10 maximum IP, uh, MAC addresses. Remember, this is a layer two implementation. So securely, um, it secures, you know, layer two stuff. So, you, you know, you, you don't have any rogue crazy people that um, trying to compromise your network and doing all these fun attacks that you can do at layer two, op spoofing and MAC address spoofing and a whole bunch of cool stuff, but that's another subject. So this is how you implement port security. So hopefully this video has been informative for you guys. I really appreciate you guys checking me out. Like always, please like, subscribe, share it with your friends and family. And without, you know, don't forget to smash that bell, please get notifications every time I upload some new stuff. So 2020 is a big year. So let's all uh, enjoy it. And thank God we're alive today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care, guys.